Hey everybody, so we're back in the Providence Kitchen and we're going to talk about our En Voyage menu for next week. This time, instead of taking a trip to a specific destination, we're focusing on a specific ingredient, which is one of California's finest ingredients, the red sea urchin. You have them from, you know, all the way up in Fort Bragg and, and, and quite a bit further north than us, all the way down to uh, San Diego, and of course, it's harvested in Baja, but uh, some of the best comes from that sweet spot right around Santa Barbara, the very finest. So we're gonna be using sea urchin in all the courses except for dessert. And we're gonna start out with this beautiful golden sesame panna cotta, which is right here, which is topped with Santa Barbara sea urchin. And then of course we have, we have a collection of herbs that we're gonna give you from the rooftop garden here at the restaurant. And you're going to be able to plate this just the way we do. It's gonna to come to you in a little deli cup but you can dress it up and make it look pretty with all of the herbs and everything that we give you. I suggest you just serve it right in the deli cup because it's going to be difficult to get it out. So the panna cotta is, you know, it's milk. It's a little bit of this beautiful roasted golden sesame from a company in Japan, which makes, I think, in my opinion, the best sesame I've ever had. And it's called Wataman. So there's sesame in the panna cotta. There's sesame on top of the panna cotta. And then we're going to give you this, which is fried buckwheat. So this is uh, also a, a buckwheat from Japan that we braise and then we dehydrate it and then fry it. So it gives a lovely texture and nuttiness to the panna cotta, which complements the sea urchin and all the other elements there. And that's pretty much the finished dish. So next we're gonna be serving black cod, beautiful black cod from our friend Eric Hodge, who also caught this fish up in Santa Barbara. The fish is gonna come to you, it's gonna be brined and we're gonna roast it partially for you and then you're just gonna finish it in the oven. It comes with beautiful Tokyo turnips Honey nut squash from Weiser Farms, from our friend Alex Weiser, RIP Papa Weiser, by the way, our thoughts are with you, Alex. Beautiful yu choy from Kong Farms. And all the vegetables have been already braised with a little bit of sake and a little bit of dashi. And then we take all of that broth and we finish it with sea urchin butter. So all you gotta do in order to finish this dish is put it in the oven, get it hot, get the skin crispy again, and then we'll plate the whole thing. I'll show you how we do it. So you just, just pop it in the oven for, you know, maybe six to eight minutes, 375 degrees, preheated oven, just until the black cod is hot again. So this week for our bread service, we're also including sea urchin in the bread service in the sense that it's not in the bread itself. The bread itself is a baguette or a demi baguette for those of you that are just dining solo. So a baguette made with a rouge de Bordeaux flour from the Hatchby Grain Project, which is one of our favorite millers and it's gonna to come to you with whipped sea urchin butter. And the sea urchin butter is topped with a little bit of uh, Piment d'Espelette and a little bit of Ionori powder. So when you reheat this baguette and just slather it with all that good, rich, delicious whipped sea urchin butter, I guarantee it'll be absolutely delicious and you're gonna wish that you had two of them. We could probably check on the fish. So there's our, the black cod, it's nice and hot again. Now I'm just gonna take these vegetables and just sort of surround the fish with them. So then, Here's that sea urchin butter that we're talking about. And this sauce, it just needs to be reheated. You can do that in a microwave, you can do it in a saucepan. And then if you have a hand blender, you could use that to sort of fluff up the sauce a little bit, give it a little aeration and make the sauce nice and light and airy. It's absolutely delicious like that. You know, it's not so much about the bubbles, it's more about just like really emulsifying the sauce beautifully. And it gives you a, like a much lighter mouthfeel when you eat the dish. So, you know, last week with the lobster bake, we little, went a little bit rustic. This is more akin to something you might eat in the restaurant, but you can make it all in the comfort of your own home without too much fuss. So I would also finish the fish with a, just a little bit of uh, sea salt and maybe a little bit of, you can put a little bit of yuzu on the fish as well. So that's the finished dish. And then talk about the dessert. 
I'm gonna have Matt come over here because I don't know all the elements, but I just know that it looks like, it, it was made to look like a little piece of uni nigiri sushi, but Mac will can tell you all about that component. <laughs> Hello, so the nigiri sushi for the base, it's a dark chocolate cake soaked in cognac, and around it is dark chocolate mousse, a malted dark chocolate mousse with praline, puff rice, and the uni tongue itself. It's a primu from uh, Bellarona Caramelia. It looks beautiful. Great job, Mac. All right, so that's our uni menu for this week. Uh, we hope you enjoy. We also are gonna have a couple of things in the pantry this week that we didn't have last week. One of them is gonna be because we're celebrating uni. We're gonna have beautiful live uni from C. Stephanie Fish, who harvests the sea urchin up there in Santa Barbara. And we're gonna just be selling those just cracked with uh, salted butter and grilled bread, uh, just to be eaten just as they are, just absolutely delicious. And, and beautiful and perfect the way God intended sea urchin to be. And then we're also, because here in California, the spiny lobster season started on the 6th of October. So we're gonna be offering a grilled spiny lobster kit. We're not gonna grill it, you're gonna grill it. We're gonna cook the spiny lobster for you, cut it in half, clean it up, marinate it a little bit, and we're gonna send it home to, with you with a little bit of a marinade that you can put on it, and then throw it on the grill at home. And look for both of those things in the Providence Pantry. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for your support as always. We will see you next week. We hope that you are well, safe, and happy at home. Wear a mask, and we hope to see you soon here in our dining room. Thank you very much.